Hey guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to another video. So I have a new subject that I would like to uh, bring to you guys' attention here on the uh, channel. Um, and it's going to be about a young lady uh, named Ashley Grayson. Ashley Grayson is her name. So... Uh, where do we begin? Because it's a lot going on with this. Um, I first heard of Ashley Grayson from a little, uh, TikTok, uh, uh, story time series done by a young lady named Sherelle. As a matter of fact, um, although Sherelle, I believe has several hundred thousand, um, uh, people that follow her on TikTok, her video got millions millions of views i mean she really put this young lady on black on blast she really did so when she first started to speak about her she had a picture of the young lady and her uh man um and she said suspected scammer and so um i'm gonna start from that point now ashley grayson let me give you a little bit of her backstory it was said that, you know, that she worked hard uh, because she had a big following on Facebook and became a millionaire with some kind of business strategy program that she sold from one to two thousand dollars. And that a lot of people, uh, you know, saved up their money, uh, bought this uh, and she kind of went viral selling this business product. Um, then moving forward, it was said that although a lot of people purchased, not a lot of people were successful with the product. Then it came out that she took, uh, some of the information in the product and she, uh, basically got it from someone else that she got the information from and kind of tweaked it to make it her own and then sold it. Well, I'm going to say, number one, that all of this is alleged. And number two, I don't know if anyone was ever successful. Now, she did have some people say they were successful, but it was also said that those were like photos of people who maybe purchased and like written uh, videos, but there was never anyone who like did a video and said that they were successful. And, uh, so this is one of the things that Sherelle brought to people's attention. Okay. Um, fast forward, she ended up meeting a guy who had a business credit product. Apparently he was selling some kind of business, uh, repair product for $30,000. Yes. $30,000. And she shot her shot at him by purchasing. And apparently she was the only person, from my understanding, who purchased. This is what was being said and alleged. Okay? Alleged. Uh, I'm protecting myself because uh, what ended up happening is the young lady, Ashley Grayson, did file a cease and desist against Sherelle, telling her not only to no longer talk about... Um, what the goings on that she was discussing, but also to take down her videos and, uh, I guess say that, you know, the information was incorrect or something to this nature. Um, but anyway, she did receive a cease and desist. Um, so, uh, the young lady said that she had a lot of people who, and when I say young lady, I'm meaning Sherelle said she had a lot of people who reached out to her after she started talking about this um, continuing to say that, you know, both of their products were not good products, that they were scam products. Now, Sherelle learned about her by purchasing something, some kind of credit cake product that she had. And not only did she purchase it, um, 
It was supposed to be a ongoing credit repair product. And Sherelle actually was a member of this particular program. So another thing I want to make clear, Sherelle said that when people purchase this business product from Miss Grayson, that she did deliver on the purchase. Sherelle said that what the scam was is that Miss Grayson uh, said that she became rich off of this product that she was selling, but she actually became rich because she was working at a job. She lost a piece of her finger and she got a million dollar settlement that she did not build herself up from selling a product. She got her initial money from this settlement, apparently, allegedly. And she was, um, that's how she became a success is by selling, by, uh, losing a portion of her finger and uh, getting money uh, in a settlement from wherever she worked from. So she bought this big castle of a home and she was showing her and her man, you know, um, with all these pictures of her looking nice, staged nice, you know, in front of a big pretty house. And she was showing all the things that she had, but she didn't get those things from that, she got the things from misrepresenting her success and, you know, using that to further the agenda of wanting people to uh, believe that they could do it too. So buy this product and you could be like me, basically. So uh, Sherelle was very adamant to say that that's where the real scam was, that they did deliver on a, on a product. And whether they was able to use the product or not was still controversial because most people said that the product was something that they were not able to use to do anything or become anyone. And so although they said that um, it was still a product delivered, so you can't say that she was scamming people by taking their money and um, not delivering anything. Now, it was said by some people that once they paid for the product that... Um, Miss Grayson blocked them on Facebook, either from her business page or from her personal account was not made unclear, was not made clear. I'm sorry. It was not made clear. So I don't know where they're saying they're being blocked from, but some people said that once they paid their money that they actually got blocked and that they did not receive uh, anything for the money. Now, also, I'm not clear if they're speaking on the credit product or the business product, because right now there's so much being said. <clears throat> and I am going to follow this story as it continues to go, because it really is getting crazy. At any rate, so Sherelle, um, like I said, she had a sign in that she can go online she was giving updates online uh, from the business product that she bought because she bought a credit repair program. She was given a sign in so that she can go in and check the process. She was actually able to go in and check the process. And it said that several things were removed from her credit. So she felt like she was getting what she paid for. But she's also a very inquisitive young lady. And if anyone knows her, on TikTok, her name is S-S-H, E-S-E-S-A-C-H-E. -E. Um, but anyway, uh, so she went to a sign-in that she had directly with the credit bureau as well to check the legitimacy of uh, the credit program's information. And at that point, she finds out that none of the items were actually removed. It said in the uh, credit program's back office that she had items removed from her credit, but when she checked the credit bureau, they were still there. So at this point, she felt that that program also was a scam. Now, once Miss Grayson or whomever was speaking on her behalf uh, sent a cease and desist to Sherelle, she was also locked out of the credit program. So at that point, that's fraud too, because if you uh, have someone pay you via credit card for a product or service, you have to deliver on the product or service, right? Yeah, right. So um, 
that um, continued to get a lot of traction. Sherelle did several videos on these people, right? So, uh, like I said, they had a cease and desist, and, and I do believe she allegedly filed a lawsuit against her, saying that she was going to sue her. Well, let's fast forward to another part of this story. Um, Ashley Grayson was friends with a young lady who did her hair. Well, the young lady who did her hair, mother had something happen. I don't remember exactly why she did this, but, but Ashley Grayson told her hairdresser, I'm going to buy your mom a house. I don't know if her house was destroyed, if something happened to her house, if she just lost her house. I, I don't know the backstory of that. A lot of people didn't talk about the backstory of that. What they did talk about was this though. So Ashley Grayson did actually buy her hairdresser's mom a house, right? She also paid off her mom's house. She did a lot of things with her money. She gave money to charity. Like she, she did a lot of positive things, uh, out there and you know how that goes as you're building an empire. You talk about those things as well. Well, anyway, she did get the house for her hairdresser's mom, right? So when she closed on the house, she, uh, the hairdresser said that Ashley, you know, told them to come down there or at least her mother went to the closing. Well, the mother was under the impression that she would be signing something, but the mother said that she didn't sign anything. She never signed anything. So fast forward, uh, she did get the house. She did get the key. She moved in. All was great with the world. Well, uh, about a month before this portion of the situation goes public, the family founds out, finds out that the mother's name is on the house, but so is Ashley Grayson's name on the house. So their thing is, okay, you gifted my mama a house. Why is your name on the house? Now, I don't know why they were concerned. Maybe they were concerned because these scam allegations started coming out. And I mean, if you really scam somebody and uh, you get sued for that, any anything that you own can be uh, a lien put against and, you know, you could lose those items. So I don't know if this is why the family was concerned or why. I, I don't know. But whatever the case is, her name was on the house. So um, Ashley contacts the the hairdresser and says, um, I want you guys to come out here. Um, apparently she lives in Texas. And she asked her, you know, I want y'all to come down here and talk to me. I'm going to fly y'all out. So she was like, okay, well, maybe she wants to talk about removing her name from the house uh, or even also why her name is on the house. Because I don't think that they really got a clear understanding of why her name was on the house. But at any way, um, she was flown out to Texas. And so she met with Ashley. Well, and this is alleged. However... Although this is alleged, um, the hairdresser uh, met with her and she said that Ashley didn't want to talk about the house when she had her come out. Ashley wanted to talk about an M for hire, uh, basically paying them, her and her husband, to unalive a few people. She had a list child, not just Sherelle, because Sherelle was on there. But her ex was on there and uh, at least one other person was on this list. And I'm going to say alleged for my personal protection. However, what the hairdresser did was she instantly got angry. She said, now this lady done brought me out here to talk about unaliving somebody and not about my mother's house. And then the thing is, the fact that she would ask me to do this why would she ask me and my husband to do it? Um, and so her thing was, this lady don't look out for me. She don't care about me. So I'm not going to care about her and I'm going to protect myself. So she told uh, Miss Grayson, look, we, we going to talk about this over FaceTime because they don't record FaceTimes. But which I'm not sure if that's true or not. But what she did know is that by her talking to her on FaceTime, that she could have proof. And Ashley fell for it. And so they ended up discussing it on FaceTime. 
and the hairdresser recorded Miss Grayson talking about this and uh, she actually has publicized some of it. Now I'm going to do a follow up video and start uh, putting some of the information in it, uh, you know, some of the uh, uh, videos in it and give you guys more detail about it. But um, she did end up uh, recording it. So I believe she went uh, to, um, I don't think she went to the police though. Um, she just, I guess, wanted to have the video for her own personal protection. Well, Ashley Grayson, it was said by the hairdresser that she actually contacted the FBI. Now, my understanding is she contacted the FBI as a part of her uh, trying to get Sherelle to stop basically bashing her as a business. Now, I'm going to do more research into this because I'm not sure if uh, Sherelle, because she said she had receipts on the things that she was speaking about. I'm not sure if she actually publicized them, but if she did, I will be bringing that information to you. Um, also, uh, I'm not sure if the hairdresser turned over all the video to the FBI, but I do know that Sherelle posted on her TikTok, which I will be bringing that to you in a, in a later video that she did talk to, uh, the FBI. Also the boyfriend or the ex rather, um, actually posted that he was with the F FBI at the time that he did the post that he did, because like I said, um, she had a few people on the list and my understanding is I think that she may have actually reached out to more than just this lady and her husband allegedly. So we're going to watch this Ashley Grayson story. Now up to, uh, now this is supposedly an ongoing investigation, uh, with the FBI. I'm not sure if the local authorities are involved or not. And I do know that Sherelle was told by somebody, either the FBI or the local authorities to watch her back, basically. So, uh, this is where, um, my information about this ends. So I'm going to look into it more and I am going to follow up and keep an eye on this story. But I just thought this was so interesting and all of these people are African American. Uh, not that that necessarily matters, but, um, yeah, I mean, Tim proved to us in for hire it does not have a race. He proved that to us. So, uh, I just want to, this is crazy. Um, this girl just telling that y'all scamming folks, all they had to do is do a cease and desist and sue her. If it was false and that she could not prove it, then they would easily, it would be a Cardi B Tasha K situation. She could easily be awarded damages of what she felt she lost, but she decided to take this stuff completely left. And it was a piece of video put out uh, of her actually saying that she wanted to pay, that she would pay several thousand up to $50,000 to have her ex unalived. And I was just like, blown away but I'm going to watch this I don't want this video to be long I'm going to watch this story and I am going to come back with you with some follow up and I am going to come to you with video so as of now I don't want to put too much like I said into this video um, but I wanted to get this story out and I wanted to tell you guys about this and we are going to follow this story see you guys in the next video guys if you are new here welcome if you've been here before welcome back and be sure you are subscribed okay be sure you're subscribed on this channel we talk about um different uh legal cases um this is my personal channel where i do blog about my life as a disabled vet i, I vlog about being a woman that suffers from post-traumatic stress disorder as well as depression and i also uh vlog about um uh, different uh, YouTube channels and like I said different uh, current events going on celebrity and otherwise and that's where this story falls in so like I said I will see you guys in the next video I really appreciate you guys taking the time to check out my channel and bye for now yeah, yeah, yeah.